Good morning, everyone. It's Matt. I'm back. Another week. Another week of college football. And unfortunately, not another week of Notre Dame football. We have a bye week this week before we play BYU in Vegas next week. Shamrock Series game, so that'll be a good one. Uh, so even though Notre Dame's not playing this week, um, I, I bought this yesterday and I cracked it open last night. It's the first time I've had this one. Um, the only other IPA uh, cask finish Irish whiskey I've had was from Jameson, which I actually enjoyed that one. Um, the Jameson one runs about 26 ish dollars, and I picked this one up for 31 32 something like that. So it's a little more expensive than the Jameson. Um, but I cracked it open last night, and uh, I was talking to a couple people on Twitter, and um, I, I kind of like this one actually, so I, I figured I'd do a little review of it. Um, so this is from West Cork Brew, uh, Brewery, geez, West Cork Distillery. Um, in, uh, I've had a few of their expressions before. I, I actually kind of like West Cork. Um, I wish I had um, more expressions for them to try. I've had their their bourbon cask finish and their uh, single malt small batch from West Cork, and I enjoy both of those. Um, a lot actually. Um, I don't normally carry West Cork in stock, um, but every once in a while I'll buy I buy one. So I bought this one, like I said yesterday, and so I put it up last night. Um, finished. Um, I'm sorry. It was a. Uh, it sat in bourbon casks, first fill bourbon cask for three years before it was um, finished in the uh, IPA cask. Um, from Blacks of Kinsale Pale Ale. It's an American style pale ale um, with a lot of hoppy, tropical, um, and citrus fruit notes to it. And I'll tell you what, man, it really shines. Those tropical and citrus notes really shine in this whiskey. Um, it, and the nose, it, it's, it's literally like sniffing a pint of freaking uh, an IPA. I mean, you get that hoppiness just blows your mind right off the bat. Very strong hoppiness, but sweet at the same time. Um, I'm not getting a lot of that tropical, um, those tropical notes from the actual uh, IPA cask, but I am getting some of that citrus in there and some floral. I got a little floral in there too. Um, it's kind of a, a nice color, you know. It's not that deep golden, not deep, deep gold, whatever. Anyway. Very nice on the palate. This one compared to the Jameson, honestly, I think I kind of like this one a little better. I'm getting a lot of, not a lot, but I get a little nuttiness on the palate, and um, that sweetness is still there. This is a pretty sweet whiskey. Uh, finish, those hops. And that citrus zest, man, they are strong throughout. Very pronounced from nose to finish, the hops and the zest. Um, I, I really like this one. I'm, I'm glad I bought it. Um, this one I may have to pick up another bottle. Um, it was on sale, actually. I think it normally goes for, I don't know, 34 35 bucks, whatever it is. I don't know. I got it for 31 like I said. But uh, I really I really like this one from West Cork. Like I said, they, they produce good, good products. Um, Hopefully, I'll have an opportunity in the future to try more from West Cork. Um, like I said, this, the bottle's kind of cool, too, with the map on it and everything. But, uh, it's pretty approachable. So, if you I don't know, new in Irish whiskey, new in the whiskey period, um, have never had an IPA cask finished whiskey, I do recommend this one. You'll like it. Slaughter.